Welcome to episode 74 of A Week in the Life of a UK Student Reseller. This week we got a couple important releases with Supreme North Face and then next week we got Supreme Bogo. So depending on the week I might combine the two footages. We've also got Night SB Orange Lobsters which are currently sitting around the 550 mark. Expect this to rise to around 575, 600 post sneakers drop and then fall after Christmas to I'd say 450, 400. So definitely two good releases to go for. I think there's some, also some dunks gonna release the like called Bone Beige or something that we might try and target as well. But they, they're they the main kind of three releases we're going for this week. There might be some restocks along with the way so we'll have to wait and see. But definitely stay tuned for this week's episode to see how we get on. Right folks, just got back from Central and got some good pickups along with some online orders. So let's just get straight into the in-store pickups. First one, Swatch had a delivery of the Omega watches in collaboration. Sadly, they um, just ran out of the Mission to Moon when I got there. The only ones they had left were the Earth, Jupiter, Uranus, v um, Venus and I think it was the Sun one something like that but yeah we managed to pick one out finally this is my first ever swatch watch picking up I just never been in the right place at the right time I managed to get the mission to earth one so I'll take it that was the best profit one um, that they had left only sadly one I know um, others at Covent Garden but nevertheless I'll sh um, showcase it um, to you guys on the channel so you can Right, let's have a look. So here it is, the Swatch Omega. So you've got that, obviously it's reminiscent of the Earth. So you've got the blue and the green symbolized water and obviously grass or uh, ground on the watch of the Earth. And then it's got Swatch and Omega on there. Um, obviously a Speedmaster made by Swatch. So it does still have demand after all the restocks. It should um, be able to get me around like 290, 300. I saw some sales on eBay, so it should be able to get around that from it. Next up, Supreme, another watch pickup, the uh, G-Shock by the North Face. Um, I, my buyer wanted me to pick this up for him, so I picked up this black one off um, in store, and then I got another nine um, online for him as he wanted bulk of them. Here is the G-Shock, so um, it comes obviously with um, the G-Shock face and then um, you've obviously just got the Supreme branding on the strap and then obviously you've got some, the minute time hand. Always um, Casio G-Shock, always a great watch for rugged design. And that's um, the next pickup we got. Uh, after that, um, we picked up a women's panda size six from Nike Town. They also had GS later on, but when I went back there, they'd all just sold out. But yeah, Panda GS should be able to make around like 160 to 180 for Christmas. So just classic, easy move up. And then the last pickup was my win for the Lost and Founds in a size nine and a half. US 10 and a half. So you've already seen the shoe on the channel from my other pickup, but here it is again just to re -issify. Classic Chicago style shoe with the reimagined look and feel. So those were the in, the in store pickups that we got good three pairs wish I'd got more but nevertheless we'll take it now let's move on to the online orders first up this little one from offspring so here we got the toddler lost and found so toddler lost and found in a 5c so really small cute baby sneakers for um, kids really nice easy mover I think I sold it for like 90 ship or something so toddler lost and found going straight out Next up, we should have 
two of the mockers from Foot Asylum. So this, I don't know, Ice Blue Mids these are. This one is an Ice Blue Mid. And we hit this one off Foot Asylum, size 6 wide, 5.5, so not too bad of a size. Going for around the 120 mark at the moment, um, so you should be able to make a bit of profit on that one. And then maybe this is another one, I'm not sure. Um, four Ice Blue, yeah, so this is another Ice Blue. Here it is, Ice Blue. I think I should have some more pairs of those coming in but not too sure. And then the last pickup is from Pro Direct. So, Jordan 1 box, it is the Ice Blue um, sale um, in the lows this time. Big shout out to Pepper for the pair, they were able to help me. Um, secure this one. I think going for around the same that 120 mark. Really clean color blocking. You've got that cream outsole, white midsole, and then obviously that ice blue upper and that off white toe box contrasted with the black. But yeah, those are all the pickups we got in today. Big shout out to Pepper and Flex and Escape for the pairs. Right, folks. Quick in-store pickup today, managed to pick up one of the Huff Dunks from my local Route 1. I saw the ping on my phone and dashed straight over there. I was working quite local to the store, so managed to grab a pair. Um, as with Route 1 first come first releases, they always do this thing when you have to select one size that you want and if they've got it you can have it if they don't you can't so I was gonna go for an 11 but I was like I'm already it was already like 30 minutes in into the drop and I was like they probably won't have any of those left so I went for a 7 because I know it's quite a popular size with inventory and we managed to secure it um, if I had gone for an 11 someone behind me asked for that they got it so it's a bummer because that goes for double profit nevertheless I'll still take it um, so it comes in obviously the rainbow special box and then we can either get the San Francisco, the Chicago or the Mystery, uh, sorry San Francisco, New York or the Mystery. Um, I think this one is the San Francisco just because I already scanned it into my inventory and that's what it came up with but we will have to see. Um, so yeah, as you know, it's a mystery bag, so you get it like this, and once you open it, you can't return it, but, but yeah, let's just see what we've got. As I said, it will probably be the San Francisco. The New York does seem to have um, less stock from Nike, and looks nicer in hand, as I saw someone wearing it out the shop, but nevertheless, um, let's see if it is the San Francisco. So here they are, the San Francisco Dunks, so my inventory selector was right, it is the San Francisco, um, really clean colour blocking from this one, um, really nice simple design, really like the um, vintage kind of crew mounts all they've done and then they've just got a Huff on the front, obviously it's collaboration with Huff that started in New York and they've got a store in San Francisco, um, but we've got that normal um dunk sb out so i think it's an sb outsole because the rigids are slightly bigger then you've got um normal standard dunk laces and a standard dunk thin in um tongue and you've got the vintage cream outsole the pebbled leather in black gray and white and then obviously um, the huff and the gem on the front. The gem may fall off, so that is a slight worry I would have. And then you've got SB in the insole um, for the green, and then you've obviously got the SB padding, and it just says forever embroidered on the back. And then you've got the New York City skyline, which is a nice touch. And then under this panel, this is removable. Well, it's not removable, but it is. Uh, tear away, you can tear it away and you get a tie-dye effect within which is pretty cool um, And then obviously the other shoe just comes with rope um, standard 
extra laces and then just huff on the insole size 7 us 8 so pretty easy size to move should be able to make around like 50 on top with this side um, and then you've just got keith um forever obviously the founder on the heel clean shoe um shout out to route one for the pair right folks just got a bunch of orders in from supreme so let's just get right into it right folks so as you can see, we got some more of the Supreme uh, G-Shock watches. These are all eight black watches. They should be, um, hit them all with Cyber. So big shout out to Cyber for the, for the um, pairs. Well, kind of not for the items, but yeah, we hit eight online on the Cyber for my bulk buyer. And then I've got another four of the yellow coming in. I think the black are only sitting at around 195 or something like that and the yellow 220 as they were well, much more limited but as I said going out straight to a bulk buyer so happy with that definitely big shout out to Cyber when the yellow ones come in I'll be sure to showcase it show you the colorway but that's all we got on today stay tuned for some more updates right folks so we've got a load more orders that have just come in so let's get right into it with the Supreme Yellow Casio watches so here is the yellow one uh, it's got like a black and a yellow kind of band nylon strap with the spring branding and then obviously the G-Shock in the yellow face. A really nice yellow actually, I think it really stands out and I think this is definitely the best colour of the bunch. As I said, already sold it to my, um, already got them all sorted for my bulk buyer. So they will be going out shortly. Um, but yeah, definitely a massive shout out to Cyber for these and then Ivory for the proxies. Next up, we've got one from Donald, so it'll probably be an office order or offspring. Yep, offspring order. There we go, Midnight Navy box, um, size 6.5 UK, US 7.5. Hit this off um, the shop drop. Big shout out to Flex for the ping on these. Managed to just hit the manual straight away, carted, and went to checkout. Um, one of the best sellers for Christmas on all marketplaces, fetching around the 350 mark. So you should be able to sell them something around there. Going into Christmas now should be an easy one or two day sell for me. Um, that's the second pickup. Then we've got this one, I think it's from Kit EU. Another Midnight Navy, this one in a size UK 8, US 9. Hit this off Kit EU. Big shout out to Cyber for this one and um, Ivory Proxies again for the ISPs. I uh, was running as soon as um, they restocked. Had about um, 10 or so that managed to get charged, but all of them got reverted. Uh, this one, so I'll take it, but yeah, hadn't hit in Kithy U in a long time since like off white drawn twos or something. Every single checkout I've got since there has just been reverted. But a good um, two militaries and then four yellow watches, pretty good. Stay tuned for some more updates, right, folks? So, Supreme is yet again gonna release the box logo crew necks in a number of colorways in about 15 minutes. I think black, blue, green and brown are probably the four best, but I've just been running random for myself just to give it the best chance in case they throw a curveball with the colors. Uh, however, I have got some of the colors from people who've been in store, so I'll run those. I'm just running Cyber and then Pepper Scripts and then obviously we'll go manual in case they do a, like an add to cart challenge or something and Cyber Flops or something. So we'll try and get as many as possible. Running Ivory Proxies and then some Resis, Geo Resis as well. So I think resale will be about 50 to 100 depending on colorway and size with like Zebra and stuff going for like 50 and Brown XL going for around the 80 to 100 mark. So let's see how we get on. Right folks, just got a couple more orders in the mail, so let's just get straight into it. Right, so the first one is a pair of Uggs. 
you would have seen them on socials like TikTok and stuff going crazy and celebrity so I thought I might as well try it to see um, if I can flip them or not. Got the, I think they're called the Ultra Mini Platforms in the Chestnut in a 6W for UK. Just gonna try it first with one pair to see how easily they are to move. Um, but I've seen some sales around 250 on eBay, that sort of thing. So if I can make 100 on these, then that'd be great. And I'll try again on another pair. But just thought I'd pick up one pair to um, try it out. Uh, definitely a big shout out to Flex for the ping on those. And then the next one is from Pro Direct. So it's a pair of Disrupts next to Nature 2s. Um, in the green phantom colorway. These restocked on Pro Direct and we managed to hit a pair. Definitely a big shout out again to Pepper Scripts. You've already seen this on the channel like before when they first released, but I'll just go over it again. So it's a dunk with this disrupt feature. So you've got that deconstructed kind of look and feel with added panels and stitching with the green and off-white contrast with the blue as well green out so and then this one actually does come with two pairs of extra laces you got the pink and the yellow as well so that's a nice touch i'm currently going from the 200 to 180 mark so i should be able to make something around there and um, they did go up a bit uh, following the tiktok craze with them but yeah um clean colorway should easily sell them before christmas definitely big shout out to pepper for the pair thank you folks so much watching this week's episode pretty successful week we were able to secure a number of releases sadly only one box logo in the worst colorway zebra small i think it's only going for like 30 profit or something like that but we can make a bit of lunch money on that nevertheless shout out to cyber for it of course and then ivory proxies and then um, we didn't manage to score any lobsters entered all raffles with all my methods but none of them hit alas we have got some more good releases coming up with the cherry 11s coming out in a couple of days so going to be mainly targeting sizes 10 and a half and above and then GS size of five to six. I think we can make around 50 profit on each pair. And then we've got Travis Scott triple black on the 15th. You're gonna try and enter as many raffles as possible. And see, I think DSM might drop them, drop them first, come first curve. We'll have to wait and see. But those are probably the last two good releases for the year. So stay tuned for next week's episode to see how we get on.